Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Trailmakers. It's been a little while since I played this. I think the last episode I made was of the High Seas DLC, and it's been a long time since I've actually played, so I'm really rusty, but there's been an update, and a couple exciting things are in it, so uh, let's jump into a world and check things out. Primarily, this update is the decal update. I believe it's actually called the expression update, or something like that, where they added stickers that you can add to your vehicles to make them more expressive, I guess is the idea. So, uh, I've got this little little tube here, and uh, so apparently you just click on this to set a decal. Oh, a tutorial. Follow these steps to learn how to decorate your vehicle with decals. Okay, I will do that. Pick a decal. Uh, a dashed line. You can place the decal by clicking on it and dragging. Uh... Huh? Rotate camera to change the angle of your decal. Lock the position of the decal. Um... It's got an X in it. What is this dragging doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. And there. Uh... Lock position. Oh! Hey, that's actually pretty cool. I thought that it was going to be like, huh, look at that. You can paint really intricately. Dude, this is a lot cooler than I thought. And you can make it, oh, and rotation. That's kind of cool. Press reposition to unlock your decal. Rotate camera to change the angle of your, wow. Lock the position of the decal. Uh, rotate camera to enjoy your decal. Clear the decal. Why? I spent so much time working on it. Well done. Well, I guess I just deleted all my hard work. That's cool. Hmm. So I guess you can select multiple blocks and then it will apply to all the blocks selected. That's kind of interesting. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm not I'm not quite sure about this update. Um I don't know if this is necessary. That's kind of concerning to me. Just just not gonna lie guys this one kind of uh yeah this one bugs me a little bit so we're just gonna not put eyeballs on anything just for my own sanity i believe there were some blocks added to this update as well it's not just cosmetic i believe there is some functionality to it i'm gonna try and pull up the patch notes right now i have studied up i now am prepared to show off what is in this update so we've got something that i'm actually kind of excited about i want to see how it works a friction pad so this is supposed to be something for like walkers and stuff and I'm wondering if it's got any customizability for it um, it's supposed to be like when the foot of the, the the walker goes down it sticks and it doesn't slide around which is something that I did in fact struggle with when I tried to build a walker all those years ago and I'm kind of curious is there any customizability for it does that mean a big old no? I can't remember. It's been so long since I played this game. Yeah, there's no there's no configure. Aw, that's kind of sad. I wonder how powerful is it? How powerful are you? Let's just add a couple of these. So I just slapped some dragon jets on the side. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, we do be slipping. They hang on for a little bit, but they just cannot withstand the power of the dragon jets. Hmm. I'll bet if I added more, it would be better. All right, let's see the comparison to when they're not there at all. If I can learn how to delete things. Okay, there we go. And off we go. And boom. Huh. Well, forgive me if I'm wrong, but it seems like there was uh, absolutely no difference at all. <laughs> um could be going a little crazy here. Maybe we just need more of them. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. That should do it. And away we go. Oh, come on now. I guess we are going slower. But really? These are, these are garbage. Huh. I mean, I guess dragon engines are really powerful. 
They're not really meant to stop a jet, now that I'm, you know, thinking about it. This is really kind of an unfair test. Uh, they're not meant to stop a, a jet engine. They're just supposed to hold the block on the ground so it doesn't slip a little bit under the force of a servo or something. So I guess, I guess it's probably fine if we uh, think about it that way. Let's bring out an old faithful build here. Hey, look at you, buddy. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, let's check out another new addition to the family. I can't actually find the last new piece. Where is it? It's a hubcap. So I would assume it'd be in wheels. Wheel, 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 wheel. Ba, 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 ba. Where are you? Huh? Huh? Compass. That's not it. Gadgets? No. No. Is it an accessory? An accessory, maybe? Rims? Uh, simple hubcap! It's an accessory! Oh, well, that's kind of silly. <laughs> Boop. Oops. Right, I forget. I have to hold it. Uh-huh. Wow. It's very flat. Oh, look how pretty. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. I kind of like this decal update, guys. Not gonna lie. You know, I, I went into it thinking, oh, it's gonna be kind of annoying and it's just gonna be pretty stupid. Why am I so struggling here? Oh, I put a new thing on the front of the car, so it's really heavy, apparently. Ah! Ah! Uh, only problem with this update is the decal packs are paid DLC? Why am I... Whoops, I accidentally fired the thing. Why am I struggling here? Is it really that heavy? Uh, well, you can see this new, eh, new thing. It's a, uh, if they'd ever show up again. Oh, hey. Oh, there they are. Look at that. You can fire dice now. So fantastic. Why am, why am I struggling to move here? Uh, help. No, I'm firing dice everywhere. Please. I just want to fly. I don't really know why this was added. Um... But hey, dice. As I was saying, the uh, the decals are paid DLC. I'm not sure if there are free ones or if all, all the ones are that they added are paid DLC. Um, like I kind of am like, just let people have decals for free. If there are some free ones, I wouldn't know because I've already bought the two packs of decals. There might have been some. I think actually there were some free ones. Now that I think about it, because like I bought. Hold on, hold on. Let's just uh, let's just go here. I bought action ones, and I'm actually not sure. I have no idea if any of them are free or not. If they're not free, I'd say, hey, come on, they're decals. Let people decorate their cars for free. This is not a free-to-play game. I've already paid for this game. So I should be able to put some stickers on my cars without having to spend any money. If there are free ones and there are some that are premium, whatever. That's fine. That's that's better. I just don't know if there are free ones or not. So take take that opinion either way. Because I don't know the full situation because I'm too lazy to go and figure it out. But I still think it's pretty cool. It's a lot better than I actually thought it was going to be. And the dice launcher is, you know, it's here. So that's kind of fun. I guess if you really wanted to play some dice-based games, you know, it, there's that. Or you could assault people with dice, and I wonder if they do any major damage. Uh, well, look at that. The only thing that survived is the dice launcher, and I think that proves just how valuable it is. I was wrong about you, dice launcher. You're actually really cool. Um, how many dice can you shoot? Oh, it seems like that's the limit. Six of them. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, how much, how much impact damage do they do? Not very much. Can I even explode this explosive barrel? I cannot. That's very disappointing. So yeah, there's a couple other things in the patch notes. Um, nothing super significant. A bunch of bug fixes. Um, it wasn't a, a huge update. It was just, you know, a fun little cosmetic update. I hope they will do another campaign DLC in the future. Like Stranded in Space. I want that again. The High Seas DLC was cool. But Stranded in Space is where it's at, guys. Like, that was so... 
so fun. What I'd like to see in the next one is actual survival elements. Like, the puzzle solving was great, but maybe a little bit more danger. Like, there was wildlife. Like, in the pictures, there were little aliens in the caves, and they were coming at you. And I thought, oh, you were going to have to run away from them. Or even fight them with the various weapon blocks, because those are useless in the campaign. And I was very disappointed with that. And, uh... I don't know, I'd like to see another campaign. I, it might be a little redundant making another one, so I guess that probably won't happen. But that's just a dream of mine, because that's where I started in my Trailmaker's journey on YouTube, was the campaign. And it was really, really fun. But, I guess we'll see what happens in the future. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Trailmakers. If you did, leave a like, and if you haven't already, and you would like to, subscribe to see more Trailmakers, and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.